Y'all come on in and come up to the front. Don't sit back there. Come on. Get up close. Rivers Rutherford is a very, very good technical songwriter, but he's truly an artist. I'm told that there are a bunch of studies in the medical world that indicate that physicians that participate in, and even as a consumer of art, uh, gain a greater empathy and know how to ask questions better of their patients. Hey, I was 21 once, way back when I had a set in the Chevy and a few girlfriends and an older brother that looked like me. That's how I got my fake ID. He's very good at telling a story. That's what I do for a living. I get in front of a, uh, an audience and I, I tell a story, whether it be a song or a story behind the song. And we know by research that there's value in integrating this type of thing into clinical learning. How many of y'all heard this song? Y'all are acting like a bunch of academics. <laughs> the doctor-patient relationship is an exercise in storytelling. So that night when I went to bed, I said, what's going on with Maggie? And she said, well, Maggie thinks she's fat. The biggest thing, again, with storytelling is empathy. It's putting yourself in the position of your listener. We're so much more than skinny. There's an empathetic side to delivering care. There's a technical side. And we feel like there should be an accentuation of the empathetic side. I'll live forever in the light of this amazing grace. told him he's our guinea pig and he's happy to do it. I feel like this is a really important thing that we can do and, and like I said also have some fun with it. I'd like to consider myself a doctor of the soul really. Um, is that wrong? <laughs> Lord I love an old school